Now, if you're anything like me, growing up you had a dream of being a marine biologist, and then you realized just how much school goes into that and decided, actually, maybe not. <laughs> Even though I didn't become a marine biologist, it doesn't mean that I stopped caring about what happens to our oceans. Today, I hope to teach you a little bit about a company called Ocean Conservancy and the lasting impacts they're having on creating a healthier ocean for all. Ocean pollution is a bigger problem than realized. In a recent 2020 study done by Philip J. Landrigan, he stated that ocean pollution is insufficiently recognized and inadequately controlled and poses serious threats to both human health and well-being. Today, I'm gonna to teach you a little bit about this company by learning who Ocean Conservancy is, the current problems they are working to fix, and the programs they have in place to do so. Now, remember those cute little sea turtles that we were all trying to protect by using metal straws? Gone, forever. Guess the whole straw thing wasn't super effective. But let's take a look at a company that's actually doing something to hashtag save the turtles. First, we're gonna look at who Ocean Conservancy is by looking at their mission statement, their classification as an organization, and their current CEO. The mission statement of Ocean Conservancy is that Ocean Conservancy is working with you to create a healthier ocean and is creating evidence-based solutions for the healthier ocean, the wildlife, and the communities that depend on it. Ocean Conservancy is a nonprofit charitable organization, which means even though they do accept donations, those donations are used for daily operations and go towards their programs that they have in place. Lastly, their current CEO is Janice Searles Jones, who has a Juris Doctorate in Environmental Law and has spent several years in both coastal and Arctic climates, directly facing the challenges of both climate change and ocean pollution. So now that we know a little bit about who they are, let's look at the program, the problems that they are directly trying to fix. The two pro problems we're going to talk about today are microplastics and mercury poisoning. First, microplastics, this is a problem that is becoming more relevant and aware to consumers everywhere. Uh, in a 2015 study led by Chelsea Rothman, an assistant professor at the University of Toronto, she stated that in 28% of the 76 fish from Indonesia, there were microplastics in their system. And that in 25% of the 64 from California also had microplastics in their system. Now, if you would take an average class size at Belmont, say everybody went home and had a piece of fish for dinner, seven of those students would be consuming microplastics by just taking a few bites. Kind of concerning. The other problem that we're gonna look at is mercury poisoning. And this is becoming a problem because of the rising climate and the rising temperature of the oceans. It's causing a higher level of CO2 and creating a higher level of mercury in these fish which gets into our systems when we eat it or consume it in any other way. It has a direct effect on infants. If this is introduced to them while they're in utero, they're, they have a higher chance of developing brain damage, they have a lower IQ, and can even have a higher chance of developing <coughs> learning disorders. But this is not only important for those infants, it's also important for us. According to the World Health Organization, mercury is toxic to both our central and peripheral nervous systems. It's also toxic to our major organ systems and can even be fatal. So these are some pretty serious problems, but let's see what they're doing to fix these and directly confront them. The current programs that I'm gonna talk about are fighting for trash-free seas, confronting climate change, and protecting Florida. All of the information about these programs can be found on their website at oceanconservancy.org, but we're gonna get a little bit into just these specific ones. In their Fighting for Trash-Free Seas initiative, they collect cleanup crews to go out to the coastal climates and clean up any trash or pollutants that may be present. They're also working with companies to change their businesses and practices that directly impact ocean pollution. In their Confronting Climate Change initiative, they're working with government officials to create legislature that will change climate change forever. And they're working to directly decrease the impacts of global shipping on this climate change. And lastly, in their Protecting Florida initiative, this one's for all you football fans out there, 
They worked with the 2020 Super Bowl to change all plastic items to their re easily recyclable aluminum counterparts. They also had a booth at the 2020 Super Bowl to both raise awareness and get the community involved in these changes. So we looked at who, today we looked at Ocean Conservancy, who they were, the problems that they're working to fix, and the programs they have in place to do so. Now, I'm not telling you that you have to switch to metal straws or throw out all your plastic and make a big change in your life. But I want you to know that there's a company out there that is making a change in your life and creating a healthier ocean for not only you, but those cute little sea turtles that we were all trying to protect. <laughs>